the rule. The real shock in our heads as we found out the only way to to escape Hoax Peak Academy was to kill one of our friends. Of, of course, we will never do that. Why would we ever hurt one of our friends? Of course, we've never known each other long, but that one drives us to go to murder. That's that's crazy. Who would kill anyone? I mean, anyone. But it looks like we're stuck here, and we can find a way out. I just wish things were different. Maybe if we've done something better, maybe we would be stuck here. Well, nothing I can do now but hope. So, this is the cafeteria? Hmm. Huh. This looks like where we walked in from. Why, because it is! The cafeteria is connected to the entrance. Of course, don't bother trying to leave. It's been locked up already. Oh. Monokuma, you're back! Yes. And let me just tell you, it's great having another killing game. Ah, it's been so long since I've had a killing game. It really gets your blood going. Especially if you're the targets. Ah, uh, Joe. I have a special feeling for you that you are gonna die. I hate this bear. Me too. Now, as I said before, I'll be taking people to their rooms. First up on the agenda is pilot is the ultimate pilot Joe is Joe Orange. My name's Dark Joe Orange. I don't know why people say it. It's Ores. I'm sorry, Joe Ores. Not much of a difference, is there? <sighs> Just take me to my stupid room. This good. Hmm. There, yep, there's definitely a cafeteria in here. Cool. Maybe I can find some stuff I can make food with. Yep, there's a utility in here. All kinds of different chef stuff I can use. Hmm. Huh. What is it, Heather? I'm looking around. There's, well, an odd number of chairs here. Can't you tell? They're all stacked in different areas. Yeah. Why is that so weird? I'm counting. There's 16 chairs for 16 students. Right, Chris? So either Monokuma planned this, or it's just one big coincidence. No, I planned it. I came back for the next group. Um, let's see, I'm looking for Chris and Bob Nobel. Let's go, Bob. Our oh, roommates! Welcome, Chris and Bob, to your, your dorm. This dorm represents your house. Just to make you feel more at home. Now, there isn't a big roof. There isn't a big roof, but it's an invisible wall. We ran out of real material, so we had to use fake ones. Can have someone climb over? Oh, goodness, no. The invisible wall will block anyone. So, just like bathrooms, you need your e-handbook as your key. So, 
leave your rest of the days here within peace. Now it's almost night time, so you better get to bed. Okay, sir. Let's go, Bob. Cool. Okay. So I take this bed. Okay, now I'll take that bed. Hmm. There's a chair here, so in case we want to rest. Hmm. Ding dong, ding dong. Attention, students. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime shall now begin. See you all tomorrow. And let's see how your deadly school life begins. Oh, I can't sleep. Give me a snack. What time is it? 6.59, okay. Uh, daytime's about to start. So that's okay to have a... What the? That's blood. There's a trail of blood. It's going into the kitchen. There's some... That's a bloody knife. Ding dong, ding dong. Attention, students. It's now morning time. Rise and shine. It's morning time. What the heck? Huh? Veronica, you heard Bob scream too? Yeah, I see this trail of blood. This trail of blood leads us to the kitchen. Da, da. And so it was. Jerry Below, the ultimate chef, was killed. Now, the killing game really did begin. But who? Who would scoop as low to kill someone? That's a question. I need the answers to. Ding dong! Attention, students! A body has been discovered. Please make your way to the kitchen. Why? Why, Jerry? Who killed him? I want to know. Well, that's what you have to figure out, Monokuma. Yes, I already know who killed poor Jerry Below. It is up to you to gather clues and figure out who did it. So, for a special occasion, I hereby give the monopad the file, the mono file, the Monokuma file. This will give you all the information. Except the important information that will lead you to the murderer. These mod pads also use as cameras, so you can take pictures. Good luck, survive, figure out to do your first murder. And so it was. We grabbed our mono pads and began. End of episode two.